Hello everyone, in this video we will continue to learn about the e-commerce in China. China's demand for high-quality products is fueling cross-border e-commerce growth. With growing disposable income, Chinese shoppers prefer international niche brands not readily available in China, leading to a significant rise in cross-border spending, with 42% of online shoppers making overseas purchases. Cross-border sales contribute to 58% of China's e-commerce market, with Hong Kong, Japan, and the US being the top destinations. Chinese consumers have a particular interest in luxury brands and limited edition products. Retailers should participate in events like Singles Dave or Double Eleven to appeal to local shoppers. To leverage the success of popular events like Singles Day, e-commerce merchants have created their own discounting or sales events, such as Gcom 618, held on June 6. Major players in the industry are also investing significantly in logistics, including innovations like Gcom's drone delivery for rural areas, unlocking new e-commerce possibilities in China. In China, brands are choosing many programs on social networks like WeChat and Douyin over standalone apps. Content plays a significant role, with 40% of sales driven by content, shaping consumer purchasing behavior. Super apps in China have transformed online shopping, with WeChat evolving into a comprehensive platform for shopping, lifestyle, entertainment, and payment services. International merchants stand to benefit by offering shopping services that integrate with WeChat, as transaction volume on the app has been growing by 134% per quarter. That is all for now. If you like our content, please give a thumb up to the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm. You can subscribe to our channel and learn more from our videos. We also have a more detailed ebook on this set of videos at the link below. If you have other projects, you can contact us through the above email. See you in our other videos.